All right. So this is the introduction to the factorial ANOVA assignment. So just to start, we're going to talk about what a factorial ANOVA is. So essentially, it's the same thing as an ANOVA with two predictive variables. Um, so that's pretty much it. So it's not that much different. Um, the only thing different, obviously, is the additional or the extra predictive variable that you have. Um, so as far as assumptions go, it's the same thing as an ANOVA. So homogeneity of variance. So this means the variance between two groups or between the groups of your independent variables. Well, predictive variables, excuse me, are the same. Independence between observations is another assumption for factorial ANOVA. So this means that none of your observations should influence one another. So one score should not be should not be influential of another. So no relationship at all. And then normally distributed data. Data. Whichever. So um, you want to use a factorial ANOVA when you're testing to see if there's main effects, which are important, or, which is a lot more interesting, interaction effects um, between your predictive variables and how they affect your outcome variable. So as far as the assignment goes, um, I'm using data that looks at gender and rank, uh, or academic rank, so assistant, uh, associate, and full-time professor, and how they, if, or how they affect um, salary. So specifically, as far as my research question goes, I'm checking to see, number one, if gender has an effect or has a main effect on um, on salary. Two, if rank, depending on which one, uh, well, not even depending on which one, just to see if rank has uh, has an effect on salary. And then, if the interaction between rank and gender has an effect on salary. So specifically, um, one question, or just something I could just throw out there, um, can being a female full-time full -time professor have an effect on salary as opposed to being a male full-time professor? So yeah, kind of interested to see what that's, what that's going to look like. So my rationale for the test, I have two predictive variables. Um, both are categorical. The first one is gender, and this has two groups. Male and female, and bold, and then rank has three groups: so assistant professor, associate professor, and full-time professor. And my outcome variable, um, which is salary, is continuous. So there it is. That's my ration. Well, that's that's the last part of my rationale. So that's just about it. Bye.